Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. And in this video here, I'm going to talk about the new MetaHuman creator in 5.7 main experimental branch and how it has an auto rigger. Now, I briefly talked about this in my past couple of videos, but I ended up going ahead and trying it. So let me go ahead and kind of show how this works. So I have here the just a regular template. I just opened it up. And if I go to the conform panel right here, we can now import a DNA, or you can do a regular identity from like your phone, MHA. But if you go from the template, you're gonna see that we can actually import meshes here. Just right behind me, there's a window that says asset mesh. In the mesh, I'm gonna type in head, and I have this static mesh here that I got from Exomorph. I've been using 3D Scan Store for so long, way before MetaHuman Identities, and they are top notch quality. James is amazing. Uh, they do great work. So I'm testing this out now. You probably recognize her from my alien movies. If I now just import everything in here, you still need to do some prep work on your custom static mesh. You still need to clean up. You still have to wrap it, you know, so that it will work. If you try to import just a regular static mesh in here without wrapping it, it's going to say, hey, this is not MetaHuman spec. It's not going to let you do it. So now this is crazy right here. This is a static mesh. This is not rigged. Now this, this is crazy. All you got to do is press conform. And once you press conform, it's automatically going to conform that static mesh into the MetaHuman. Now this is much better than mesh to metahuman because as you can see it kept the shape really nicely that's the topology view let's look at the clay view this is pretty darn close to what the original static mesh looked like now you probably lose a little bit of detail but yo this is insane, just to even get this part. But now here's the magic part about this whole thing. If you now go to create a full rig, now you have an option. You create a full rig uh, with joints and blend shapes. I'm going to do the create full rig because I want the entire thing rigged to this character. I can just press create full rig, and this is going to auto-rig the face mesh. Now, again, people, this is experimental branch. There is no documentations about this. This is me just messing around in here. All right, so it rigged the MetaHuman. And on the right side, I can actually test this out. If I go to maybe Face ROM and press play, and let's go with skin. This is going to apply like a regular skin that's insane now why is this a big deal Jay well now you're cutting the extra step of needing a tool to rig a custom meta human all you have to really do now is do some prep work to get your mesh in spec and click auto rig. This is insanity, all right? And I know it's already rigged. For us to kind of change the material and whatnot, we'll have to remove the rig as far as I know. So you can see everything is locked up. So let's let's remove the rig. I just wanted to show you kind of like how to auto rig it, but let's apply some textures on this, you know, just to kind of see what it looks like. So now we're back to the neutral face. And we now have some textures to play around with. You know, you can make it your own. And again, what's crazy about this here is that it works really well with the face texture indexes here. You can even add some freckles. You know, I can do like three or four and look for something that will look good for this. I'm actually going to do a video later showing you kind of like all the different face textures but even just like this here and this is only 1k face texture that it's showing i'll show it to you in 8k 
And speaking of, by the way, whenever this does assemble a full meta human, it's only capping out at 2k. So I'm kind of still trying to mess around with it. I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. Even if you download AK textures, the final meta human itself is only 2k on the face. I mean, you can customize the meta human fully, but you know, change the eyes and stuff. Let's change it with like a freakish blue eye. Look at that. That's kind of creepy. Or maybe a green one. Because now you technically have a meta human. Maybe even give it some hair. I don't know how this is going to work, but let's just try it out. Because she's got a pretty weird shape head. And, and wow, okay. No problem there. That's freaking crazy. That's absolutely insane. Because now we have hair everything. I mean, obviously the body doesn't fit. And we'll go to assembly here. The character is missing textures, okay? So before I said you had to download the textures first, I don't think there's really like a right and right or wrong answer here because you can download the textures after you rig it also. So that works. And the assembly, I'm choosing UE Cine here. So that's why I was thinking, you know, maybe we would get an 8K texture, but it seems like I was only getting 2K. So we have 1K face and 8K body. Okay, so if I go now to the assembly, again, you have all these options. I'm going to try and maybe flip it to Cine here. I don't know. Sometimes whenever you select something like that and select it back, it works. I don't know. I'm just trying it. We'll see. So now this is going to assemble this character into an actual metahuman blueprint. Okay, so now we should have the alien. I'll go ahead and drag and drop my alien here. All right, so here's our meta human again. This is only 2K texture, which is freaking insane. And we'll open up our label sequences again. And same thing we did earlier. I'm going to import Brian's uh, face breaking ROM. And I know somebody commented, it's like, hey, why do you always use stupid faces whenever you're doing tests? Well, if you're only using regular meta humans and you're not using like custom meta human heads, it's okay. You don't have to do, you know, ROMs like this, like extreme ROMs. But if you're doing custom meta human heads, like I've been doing, you got to. You have any idea? I've seen so many rigs that I've seen that whenever I did this test, this breaks. So it's really important for you to do these whenever you're doing custom meta human heads. Now again, this facial animation is an older one. It doesn't have Tong Solver yet. But as you can see right here, this is freaking crazy. I'll show you one pose that breaks a lot of rigs. That and or is the other one with the teeth? This mm, this one. That breaks a lot of rigs. So yeah, this is pretty crazy that we're able to rig now a meta human, a custom meta human without any need of uh, of a tool. And just for the sake of it, let me apply a, a 16K texture on this just to kind of see it. Now again, it's not going to match because it's it's just not the same face. Green. Yeah, this one. Let's go with this one. I'll get just a, a baked. And let's go with face normal main. I'm just gonna grab the baked and the uh normal because as you can see here, this is this this has changed. So here it is with 16k textures. And I'll just change the near clip plane so we can get in there. This is like freaking avatar scale quality for free. I mean, you can hate on Unreal Engine all you want. But there's nothing else out there that is giving this sh for free. Yeah, the lips, obviously you're going to notice, it just does not match 100% because it's a different 
the text th these textures are for a different model but i just wanted to go ahead and see it just to see how it looks at 16k i mean that's freaking bananas but yeah, if y'all want me to keep making MetaHuman videos for the new update, let me know in the comments below. It helps with the engagement and actually started to push my videos back because it's just been gone. Like the, the algorithm's been pushing a lot of negativity videos instead of tutorial videos out to the viewers. So hopefully, you know, we can get some, some of that back. And yes, by the way, I forgot, it does create wrinkle maps. It looks like right here.